Okay, there we go. Let's see what happens here. I <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can't get you out of my What's going on everybody, Drake Guest here, and welcome back to some more Polybridge. So last episode, they introduced the new campaign, 80s Funland, and we completed the first three levels, which were very difficult and very fun. I got very lucky on them uh, to complete all of them successfully. So now we're on Falling Tower, uh, which we have a budget of $27,000, and we gotta use a city car. Okay, original concept by Violets are blue, and we can use wood and steel, and we have one city car to get all the way across. Now I'm seeing, is, is that, what the hell is that thing? Is that... Okay, that is some sort of blimp thing. Let me actually see that. Now, can I connect to that? I don't know, but I am intrigued by it. Okay, I really have no idea how to do this. I've been staring at this, trying to analyze it. Now, the title of the level is Falling Tower, so I feel like I gotta create some sort of platform here that can fall over and then land onto a different road or something like that. I really have no freaking idea, but I think I'm going to try that. So let's just, you know what, I'm... I have I have no plan at all. I'm just going to kind of build a, I can't even build a road over here. Really? What the hell do you want from me game? Okay, well, let's do that. Let's just see what happens here. That road. Oh shit. That's not really gonna work either Okay, so right now I just kind of got this but unfortunately my car's a little too slow now that lands over there I don't know what I can do with that sheep though. Is that supposed to slow me down? Am I supposed to maybe hit that with a car or something? I really don't know uh, I gotta figure out how to slow this thing down from falling because I want the car on it obviously before it falls And I gotta figure out what this sheep has to do with something. I am intrigued by it I feel like I gotta use it somehow. I feel like maybe Just maybe I can get this car to land on something down here and then do a huge freaking jump uh, that's like a death wish though, but you know what? This thing's not working. I might go back to that, but right now I'm gonna try and do some sort of ramp. The problem is, like, anything I do, I guess the only thing- hold on, what if I- I just have nothing to attach over here, so whenever I start it, it just obviously falls over. Now, what if I just go crazy, build something abs absolutely stupid here, but it might just work. Let's build this thing to attach to this, and then I'm going to obviously enforce this um, just to keep it stable. Now, I don't know if this is going to work at all, but I'm, I just, if I could do a jump, that would be so damn cool. Okay, let's try that. Oh, shit, okay. I, for, I forgot about this part. Okay, let's just and reinforce this a bit. Again, wood's not that expensive, so we should, ah, oh, fuck. I'm gonna reinforce this spot with metal because it's breaking, which might move it to another spot. There we go, this spot, I think it was this spot, yep. So that one's breaking, so we're going to delete that, reinforce that with metal, and just keep going down the line until we find all the breakage. Uh, let's see if we can straighten this out a bit, maybe make it a bit more stiff. Because it is going to- oh, fuck. You know what, I, I should probably just do the whole thing with steel. Okay, there we go, let's see what happens here. I- <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm just realizing now, I've been tweaking this like crazy, but even if you go in the water, yeah, you fail the level. Like, nothing broke or anything, but I think I just failed because of that. So I guess I gotta go back to the falling tower strategy. This is obviously over budget already anyways. God, I don't know what to do. Okay, clearly it's impossible. To <laughs> oh, come on, that is totally balanced. I'm trying to make it fall this way. I'm pulling everything over I can. Let's pull this over a little bit. Pull that over. Now, that should make it lean, right? Come on! Why is it not fall- Oh, oh god, okay. Well, that's exactly what we want, though. That is the perfect landing. So, so far, so good. I just gotta figure out how to make this lean this way a bit. That better freaking work. Come on! What the fuck is going on? Why is it the- Okay, seriously, this is bullshit. Let me- There, that better fucking- There, it's- It's still- Are you fucking kidding me? How is this not leaning over? Okay, this should- Hopefully work. I actually had to lower it because it just kept pushing it over. So, now I got something, oh, for fuck's sakes, that can hold it, but what the hell do I do now? Like, seriously. Okay, I've had to play with a lot with the weights and everything, but I have good news! This actually makes it. Now, I spent $19,000, but as you can see, it stops it there, and then when we hit the ground, the car's totally fine, I think. Oh shit, is it, it's stuck on something. Okay, as long as I make a bridge there, I think we should be okay. So now it's as simple as just making a basic bridge, I guess. Probably this should be enough. Um, and I think we got it, guys. I I don't know how. I've just been tweaking this freaking platform 
time and time again, and finally, it decided to work with me. So let's just try that. Hopefully this works. It might take a little bit more, uh, but we're gonna try this out here. Okay, so here we go. We know this part works. That's no big deal. I was hoping to do something with the sheep in the sky, but I guess we're not gonna be doing that. Now I'm pushing the brick a little bit, or sorry, the road piece. There we go. Yes! Perfect! Now, uh, this looks like a kind of a bit of a jump, though. Nope. Okay, we're just going behind the mountain for whatever reason. But I got it! Level complete! There we go! So let's go on to the next one. That was a fucking event. Jump, jump again. Okay, I, I like how these titles are telling me how to do this. Now, jump, jump again? I'm going to have to either avoid this blimp or hit it somehow. Okay, I think I know what you gotta do, though. You gotta make a little jump here and then land in here and do another quick jump. Try to avoid that balloon, because you do actually bounce off the balloons and make some sort of landing pad here. That's actually a lot of tweaking. Uh, this one's gonna be very difficult, I can tell already. But let's start it out and see how we do. Now, we only have a budget of $11,000, which actually isn't too bad when it comes to jumps, because, uh, well, they are usually relatively cheap. You're not using too much in terms of, um, road. Let me see if that I can actually hold up. No, it cannot, so I gotta put another one right down here. We're just gonna make something nice and, and sleek right now. There we go. That's a good jump. Now, does that make it to the middle? Yes, it does. Okay, so if I could put something in the middle here, just a very small extra jump, I might be able to make it. Okay, I think I'm gonna do something like this for right now. I don't think wood's gonna hold up, but let's just see what happens here. We have a nice simple platform. Not far enough. <laughs> Holy shit. That thing got knocked the fuck out. Okay, let's try and drop it down a bit. Something like that. But again, I don't think the wood's gonna survive it. I'm just curious to see. Oh yeah, we, we still gotta go further, unfortunately. Okay, let's try this. Again, just fine-tuning. God damn it. This thing goes so damn low. Something like that, maybe? Is this good? This is definitely gonna break, but I'm just trying to get the landing. There we go! Holy shit! Perfect! Oh my god, okay, well things are breaking, but that doesn't really matter. Now, if I can make a road, that seemed to go pretty low. Let me watch that again. I think it actually... Hmm, I wonder if I just up this jump a bit. Can I make it? Or should I... I no, I think I should make a road, because I don't want to tweak it too much, because then it might break and not work again. Okay, I'm just gonna do something like this right now. We're gonna attach it to this. Something, I mean... We may as well keep it simple if we can. Fortunately, I can't create any more steel, so we might have to tweak this a little bit, but let's try that. Uh, ooh, man, that's actually... I might hit the damn... Ooh! Oh, shit! Okay, so I just gotta bring this down a little bit. And then maybe, just maybe, I can grab this. Let's try that. Again, a lot of tweaking. This is the kind of stuff I edit out, but I think I might have this soon. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh! No! What the... Oh my god, come on! I am $95 over budget, but we almost got this. Now, if I just move this down a little bit... Oh, shit, I can't. Now, move this over a little bit, and then move this down. Nope, still can't do it. I don't know what I... I didn't change anything over here, and now it's not even freaking making it. Oh, that time it made it. So sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. I, th I thought I did exactly the same thing every time, but this has been making it and not making it. Now, this is... This is driving me bonkers. I can't seem to figure out how to make this landing pad. <gasps> oh! I did it! Oh my god, level complete. Now, there, I am a little bit over budget. Let me see if I can maybe drop this a bit. Now, if I get rid of this, I am officially in budget by quite a bit as well. So if I just reinforce this a bit, essentially replicate what I did before, I might be able to do this. Let me... You know what? Let's just try that. We might get lucky here. You never know because it does break anyways. That's the thing. Uh, but you can see now Now it isn't going as far. Now the question is if I reset it here. Randomly sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. No, nope. okay. So that is breaking too much now. Okay, yeah. I Clearly I can't do this, guys. Uh, I've been tweaking this like crazy. It just doesn't want to work now. I, I'm, it's getting worse and worse. So we're just going to say, you know what? We're a couple hundred dollars over budget. It happens. Projects become over budget. So let's go on to the next one. Okay, I hate it when it says low budget bridge, especially with a dump truck. Uh, we got $7,500 to spend to bring this dump truck over. I think this is the first time we've seen the dump truck. Um, okay, so, so do we get steel? No, we don't. Okay, so this is just as simple as making a cheap bridge that is very sturdy. So to start out with, obviously, I'm going to, you know what, let's go straight up like that. Let's keep this as even as we can. We got $7,500. Let's remember that. Uh, we'll do something like... Let's do that, okay, now we're just gonna attach that to that, that to that, and then we're gonna go up now, and then do the typical pyramid, uh, tops. 
I think this might actually work right here. I'm feeling pretty good about it, but again, a dump truck is very heavy. So I never know until I just try. But I'm pretty good at these low budget things. Now this one's a bit bigger. Uh, you know what, let's just keep it like that for now. Let's see, am I gonna need to do anything else? I don't think so. I am a low budget pro, guys. That was my first try, and we did it with no problem at all. I used uh, $7,468 on my $7,500. You couldn't really ask for a better job than that. So, I guess we're going on to a fourth one this episode. Uh, people were saying these are really hard, but actually I'm not having that hard of a time. I remember a lot of the older levels were actually even more difficult. So we got a drop bridge, we got a budget of $17,000, we got a tugboat and a school bus with materials, wood, steel, piston, and cable. Okay, so upon looking at this, we do have tie-downs in the back. That's telling me that I should put a steel beam as high as I can here, and as high as I can here, and then pull the whole bridge up. Now, what I mean by that is using hydraulics. How many do we actually- oh, shit, do we have not have enough? We have- oh, we have unlimited. Perfect. These are actually not high enough, so I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. Oh, man, I'm not feeling good about this now, though. Too far away. My ass too far away. Let's bend this a bit, I guess. There we go. Now, I'm going to attach that to the road as well, do a split joint in the middle, and try and pull up the whole road. Okay, so now we just do a simple road across. Oh, shit. Okay, now, the problem is, I can't really do a split joint in the middle right now, so I gotta make one big and one very small. Oh, man, this is gonna be difficult. Okay, I'm just gonna try it from here. I really don't know what I'm going to be expecting. Um, I would like to do another hydraulic as well. Maybe... Oh, shit, the only one I can fit to is there, so let's try that. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing right now, guys. Uh, this is just trial and error. Uh, we're going to attach a cable to that, maybe? And then build a simple triangle beam here. No! The boat comes first? That's a bitch. That is a real bitch, guys. That means I got to build the road up. How the fuck am I supposed to do that? That means I can't even use a split jo I joint. I need to figure out exactly how far these roads are supposed to go. Great. Actually, now that I think about it, that won't be bad because we've maxed out all of these roads. That means I need to put three maxed roads over here and then two maxed roads over there. And then assuming when they drop together, they should stabilize and make it easy for the bus to go across. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to delete all these and I'm going to build one, two, three, and then one, two. Okay, so now these roads are supposed to drop when the tugboat's done. Now, I just gotta, uh, of course, attach my hydraulics right. Oh shit, here and here, here and here, and then build some sort of stability structure. So again, I don't really need to stay in budget, I just like to try. We're at $19,000 right now, that's quite a bit over budget. Let's just try this though, see what happens. Maybe I can make it a little better. Oh, do I need to reverse these? I think I, yeah, oh shit, oh god. Oh god, I'm so sorry, bus. I like how the bus is driving anyways. I mean, think of the children, for God's sakes. Don't just suicide yourself. I think they changed this as well. This is actually more confusing. So I can drag this around, which contracts it and expands it. So I'm going to want to expand it, and then I'm obviously going to want to expand it as well. Now, the, this is going to take a lot of tweaking, because you need to do these obviously perfectly. I just want to see if this works right now. It should, I'm assuming, start dropping these. But now I just got to fine-tune it. Ooh. Wait, wouldn't it be great if it just worked the first try? You know what? Maybe we can do a little jump in, in, in the bus. Who knows? Let's try it out. Is it even going to hold the bus? Oh, yeah, it actually is. Look at this. Oh, oh, okay. So now it's all about just figuring out how far I want to expand this. Okay, that's too far, obviously. So let's bring this back a bit. Bring this one back a little bit. And it's just trial and error, guys. A lot of Poly Bridge is trial and error. Getting... Ooh, ooh. Ooh, yes! Oh my god, it fucking worked. That's actually a really fun bridge. I've never done anything like that, so it's always good to try out new bridges. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end this one here. I think it's a good spot to end off, because I would like to get one or two more episodes um, of Polybridge. I just love this game, and I don't want it to end. Uh, unfortunately, I fly through this content too quickly. God damn it, release some more. I hope you guys are enjoying this, though. Uh, this is, once again, Polybridge. Thanks so much for your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.